To say that this may have been one of the most unpredictable Nintendo Directs would be a bit of an understatement. With the Switch going through its 7th year of release, and its most prominent release that was slated for this year, the remake of the GameCube classic Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we didn't know what exactly to expect out of this Direct. But what we ended up getting was one of the most complete Directs we've ever received, with new entries into multiple Nintendo franchises, classic titles that we thought wouldn't make their way into modern platforms, and fantastic linking remakes. There's a lot to take away from this Direct, so here are our 5 biggest announcements from the Nintendo Switch presentation, with some honorable mentions going out to Super Mario Party Jamboree, a fun looking Mario Party game which hopefully takes more from the classic titles than many of the modern titles, and Romancing Saga Remake 2. Uh, this game looks absolutely beautiful, and I hope that we can continue to see uh, more remakes of classic JRPGs, especially those from the late 90s and the early 2000s. Anyway, let's get started with our top 5 picks. Coming in at number 5 are the remakes of Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. Originally revealed in 2021 as part of an event celebrating Dragon Quest's 35th anniversary, fans were left on radio silence for 3 years. So imagine the surprise of finally seeing more of Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Utilizing that aesthetic that's been popularized ever since the release of Octopath Traveler, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D looks absolutely beautiful and looks to be another fantastic addition to the Switch JRPG library. Surprising fans more, however, was that the rumored HD 2D remakes of the first two Dragon Quest games are also releasing in 2025 as a packaged game. Now we may finally know why it took so long for more information on Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D to release. May these remakes keep going strong. Coming in at number 4 is going to be Mario & Luigi Brothership. The last year has felt like Nintendo apologizing to fans of the Mario RPG series, with the remakes of The Thousand Year Door and Legend of the Seven Stars releasing to critical and financial success, perhaps we shouldn't be too shocked to see another Mario RPG franchise make its return. But with the closure of Alpha Dream, we definitely had our reasons to doubt. The game that started the direct set the tone for how the rest of the show was going to go. With a great cartoon aesthetic and a return to basics, Mario & Luigi Brothership looks to continue the trend of fantastic Mario RPGs. Capcom presents two words that many fans in the fighting game community have been longing to hear. With nearly all prior collections of the Marvel vs. fighting games getting taken down, this collection has gotten everyone excited for the return of the Marvel vs. fighting games. With a great amount of features including rollback netcode, we are once again ready to go on that ride and learn how to do a frickin' infinite. May Marvel live on forever, baby. Coming in at number 2, and honestly probably the biggest surprise of the direct, at least for this person here, was Echoes of Wisdom. Though rumors of a new top-down Zelda game had been swirling around, many assumed it would have been remakes of the Oracle of the Oracle games using the same style of the Link's Awakening remake from 2019. Echoes of Wisdom is the first Zelda game developed by Nintendo to have the titular princess in the starting role. Though we didn't get too many glimpses into the gameplay, the few we did receive showed us that it focuses more on puzzle solving and platforming. It brings the intuitive puzzle design from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom into the 2D Zelda aesthetic, as there are several ways to solve puzzles. Add in the Toy Box Diorama art style and you have a recipe for what is sure to be an amazing adventure. September cannot come soon enough. A title screen was what many Metroid fans had for over 7 years. The development of Metroid Prime 4 Beyond has been a wild one to follow. From the game-changing developers, Bandai Namco was the reported first developer, Retro Studios then took over development, but even they hit some snags along the way, which included starting over from scratch under a new game engine. But this Direct finally showed us what we are in for. Beautiful scenery, fast action, and continuing with the story threats that were teased at Metroid Prime, 3, Samus' journey is one that we will have to wait a little longer to wait in 2025. But whether this shows up before the Switch successor at the same time as a simultaneous release, we all can rest easy knowing 
that Metroid Prime 4 Beyond is real and will be with us sooner rather than later. That was our list of the 5 best announcements from the Nintendo Summer Direct. Remember to hit that sub and like button and let us know down below what you thought about the Direct. What games are you looking forward to? And if you have a fan, we'd see a Zelda game starring the princess herself. This has been Miguel from Anime Secrets, signing off.